it's not easy being an intellectual mediocrity, but then everybody knows that. I wonder who the genius was who invented the phrase, hold your horses. I suspect he was wearing a Stetson. Anybody who thinks money is not important has either never had any money or he has too much money. I wish I could find a judge to declare me incompetent. Everybody else does. We might as well make it official. Self-respect? It crawled under a ladybug and died. My mind is gone, uh, but it should be back in about 15 minutes. Murph says, I'm a pretty charming guy. I could row my boat across America on the tears of the women I've charmed. Murph's goal in life is to make so much money that he no longer has to work. You sit around all day and do nothing. In other words, his goal in life is to become worthless, to have millions of dollars. Only then will he be worthless. Murph says, you can't really be worthless unless you're a member of the idle rich. So people who uh, make twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 a year, they, they want to be millionaires so they can sit around and do nothing. Uh, the fact that they want to be worthless, I think, proves that they already are worthless. Uh, but uh, you're not really worthless officially until you're a member of the idle rich. And then and only then are you truly worthless. Uh, but as I said, I think most of these people, because of their aspirations, they've already qualified as worthless. They just need to make it official by getting lots of money. Murph says, um, if the upper 2% of Americans are millionaires, that means if, if you want to be a millionaire, you've only got a 2% chance of achieving that goal. Uh, he says, all Republicans believe in their hearts that someday they're going to be millionaires. So that would mean that 150 million millionaires in this country. In other words, 50% of the American people would be millionaires. Now, what are the odds of one half of the people in this country becoming millionaires? The odds are zero. You only have a 2% chance of becoming a millionaire. And if you were playing poker, would you bet on a hand that only had... 2% chance of winning? Would you, would you bet all your money on those cards? And yet people bet their lives on a ridiculous bet, a ridiculous gamble. You devote your life to achieving a goal of which you have only a 2% chance of winning. Murph says, I am the exact opposite of what I wish I wasn't. <laughs> 